Hi, my name's Sean Beasley. I wanted to offer all of my subscribers a short uh, introduction into Turnkey Linux for the application OTRS. So if we search here, Turnkey Linux for OTRS, we will find an application or a virtual appliance which we can download in order to test OTRS. Now this might not be applicable to all of my subscribers because a lot of you are already using OTRS but it could be a way for you to um, yeah, set up a little test environment. Now it does have one drawback, it's based on the Debian installation so it uses all of the official Debian repositories which means the OTRS version here is a yeah, a lot older, you could say, than the OTS version that you would um, generally download and install. In keeping with this thought, of course, as I said, um, not everybody's using the newest OTS appliance, so it might apply to some of you. You can go ahead and download the package here with a VMDK and a VMX image. So I've already downloaded it and I've got my virtual appliance or my virtual box open and I'm ready to install it. Let's go ahead and go through the setup. So I create a new machine. Select Linux, Debian, continue. You can leave the RAM as it is. Choose the hard disk from your downloads. and click done. Then you'll be ready to start your new machine. You'll see a Debian conf or debconf style configuration tool. So we'll just set the password for root. Confirm the password. Again for the SQL and then for the admin account. So there's a hub API key if you're installing this on the new turnkey Linux hub which uses the Amazon EC2 services. Uh, we're going to go ahead and skip this one because I don't have a EC2 instance that I want to install this to. Here are the security updates. I'm going to go ahead and install those. Once the update's finished, we'll see that we have a, um, yeah, a nice little information screen how we can access the system. There's uh, the web access, then there's a web shell. Um, a webmin and also access to the SSH SFTP. So you could effectively update the system using a manual upgrade or by using apt pinning to pin to the experimental or the unstable releases which are <clears throat> available for normal Debian installations. But let's go ahead and run with the advanced or with the normal setup here. They have an advanced menu. The advanced menu allows to um, control basic system settings like networking, reboot, shutdown, and quit. So let's go back. I'm not going to be able to access this IP address, so I'm going to go ahead and change my settings. So I'm going to go into my network adapter, and then I'm going to choose a um, host-only adapter. We'll click OK, and I'm going to go into my networking. I'm going to select DHCP, and you see I'll get a DHCP um, address assigned from VirtualBox then I can go back go back again and now I can access my installation over my internal IP address so let's go ahead and do that here's what the turnkey Linux web page or default web page looks like I can go into the administration, I can go into the customers, I can go into the web shell, or I can go into webmin, which allows me to make some configurations on the basic machine itself. So here's interesting, when I go into administration, they're going to give me a certificate because they've set it up with a local certificate, which means I directly have HTTPS. 
Now we put in our admin user that we created when we installed the instance. And we have access to a OTRS powered by OTRS 2.4.7. And that's all there is to installing OTRS on turnkey Linux. I hope you've had fun. Thanks.